Oi mates, GameXU here, and today we're gonna learn how to make a sweet, nice sniper rifle. Well, not crafting it, but give me a moment. This here, and today I'm gonna show how to get something from Minecraft and to go all the way from Minecraft and to put it into Cinema 40 like here. As you can see, this is a sniper rifle that was made in Minecraft and put it into Cinema 40. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial step by step. And along the way, I will tell some tips and stuff you should be aware of. And also be aware that I might get slow at times like I'm doing right now. And so just bear with, with the tutorial and probably even enjoy the tutorial. Just breeze through it. And if you're getting bored at steps, you can go to the timings of the specific step in the description below and without further ado let's get started Minecraft, let's get started with the models step. And so, um, oh, don't mind about these guns. Let's drop this. But keep the sniper. Just shoot them squids. Okay, it's probably dead by now. Anyways, now that we're in Minecraft, let's get right to the models. So what we just need is a any model, like anything you can literally have, even this block of dirt. But of course, we don't want to go that. We want to talk about big, and I mean big. Yep. Um. Yeah, just got these two things randomly in my world, anyway. But anyways, now that we got those things, but the more important question is, why so big? And why is it like, why is it off the scale? And when I mean off the scale, I mean like the 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 props within. That like your Minecraft rig has to sit on. Like example, if you want the rig to sit on in the chair, let me just first go there. Okay, now we're inside. Hello. Uh, you can r see right off the bat that the chairs are ginormous, and like, yeah. Um. So this is how it would look like if you uh, keep the model in scale in Cinema 40. But there's this technique. And I will demonstrate it with a simple design I made. Let me just go back there again. Okay, so you can see the design here. Is I made a simple chair. One of each has a different type of um, amount of detail. So here you can see a in scale chair. So that means the chair is meant to be like the size of the character. Let's do the sitting thing. Diddy. 11 in there oh well and we have here a more a bigger chair and what this concept is is to make things more detailed or like make more polygons within a model and usually to do that people would make um, you can't really get any smaller unless you get the small box mod and so in order to make more detail they have to make the thing bigger and so that's the, if you just try to i can't really un, un, um, explain it just kind of just kind of to try to understand it yourself but probably you understand that this is the concept it's just as it's a little concept here and the next thing you i just want to tell you is that when you want it when you're Getting these models ready for being turned being turned into objects, a fi file, an object file. You want to make sure that there is no obstruction within these models. So like, there's no natural blocks or any type of things in the way. Clouds are fine. Clouds aren't and really anything. They're just like just something there. Not really anything in the world within the world. And it just basically it will um, detect the air. Ooh, um, this be interesting. No, I don't want to do that. It's gonna ruin the whole thing. 
but anyways you also want to make sure that all the chunks are loaded for these models I got mine chunks so that means like you just have to simply go there considering these things are really huge and so because when we're going to go to the to program that will import these um, that will export these models into Cinema 40 it will have to have all the chunks loaded within your Minecraft world or else it won't load those in the when you load the map we'll just see on the step number two which will we be going right about now okay now we're gonna open up a program that will enable to load a Minecraft map and will able to export it as a dot object file or whatever the file you need in order to import a model into Cinema 40 and so what I use is Mineways which is quite easy to use you just go to file and then open a world it will show a list of worlds you have and you can and I'm just gonna select do anything because that's my world and you can see right here we have a bird eye view of the world and you can see that this is what happens when you load the chunks if you don't load the chunks it will become gray and it will you can cut up it might cut off your model if it's quite huge like here and so now we have our two examples here we have the gigantic airplane or the antenna of A2 a225 pipe got Maria I had I got it to ring name wrong just correct me and we have a long steam train with some carriages yeah so I'm just gonna do the train because I like trains smart logo not really but yeah, it's going to se select it by right clicking on the a specific spot and then dragging it to the place where you want to stop. And so you can see that we're, create, we're still highlighting the box within the model and not any oops, not anything else. Just press yes for a second there I'm gonna fix that later just try keep on dragging this and dragging and dragging and dragging and right about there we'll do it yep. and we got this whole thing selected now the second concern is that since we have the model within the air so that you can it's a way to avoid having the models obstruct any natural resources a way to find out where the model's bottom is of the, the bottom face you can just move this max, max height to a point where it would start doing this we're just going to keep on doing it just going to reveal the and somewhere around there we have revealed the bottom of the object right around there and well it already did it for us lower depth and then 12 this this thing is called the lower depth so you want to set this to lower that when it when the object is reaches bottom you want to select you want to make that the lower depth and then just put this to 220, 255 unless you have something in the air obstructing then that's another concern but not really because we don't really have anything so just put it to 255 doesn't really matter now it's gonna go file export for rendering and then we're just gonna name it over like now then don't have to really mind about anything here unless you are unless you want to you can just see just set the options yourself and we're just gonna press OK and it will render for us and it's done and now that we have that let's go step 3 that is within Cinema 40 okay now that we're in Cinema 40 we're just going to want to go to file and open and then we're just gonna import our now that we 
Now this thing will pop up the wave in box. And you want to go to the scale and type in a thousand. So this will in, in the, this will enable it to to scale up to the common Minecraft size. So like basically all the all the rigs you can get from the internet and stuff and all the the custom models that all the custom minecraft models that that um, people make they usually set to the scale of a thousand so yeah just just a video yeah, okay now we got our model here and we have two choices when it comes to texturing either you can Re, you can retexture it yourself so you can have custom colors and stuff so like you can make your own custom, own custom textures and import and like that but you can also just go with the standard textures so what you're just going to do is click on from, click on this and press ctrl a to select all of these textures you're gonna press Go here, texture, and then you're gonna want to go to the the folder where you um, selected to in, to export your object, and then next to it you have the MTL. You got the alpha.png, rgb.png, and r and this r rgba.png. Those are basically the red, green, blue. This is meaning red, green, blue, alpha. So this includes all of so it's alpha also. Now alpha is the transparent texture. So example, right somewhere here. So here we have some, um, usually when you import an, a texture without the alpha, it will have this strange black box around it. And alpha will basically determine uh, the trans where the text where parts of te textures will be transparent. That's my way of telling alpha. But anyways, let's just get this imported and click on the world rgba.png. Want to go to sampling? Press none. Now let's go to basic. Deselect specular. Now we're going to enable alpha and just import the same texture and we'll sample it to none. And here you can see we have our thing. Congratulations. But there's a catch. Uh, well, if you d decided to keep the model at the size of a actual character so like the chairs i told you would be like the size of the actual character and then you're fine but since we have this upscaled we're just going to want to make a quite accurate scaling of the model into the scale of a model so we're just going to import a rig quickly here just a standard rig here Oh, he's more. He's gone into the thing. He's gonna pull it on. Hmm. Well, hello, Mike. So now that he's got it, we're going to want to descale the object. And usually, you're gonna find you want to find an object that is the size of the that you want to compare with the rig. So let's just say let's just make this rig the size of the chair so like you can actually probably sit down in a chair and like just go like this chair is too big for me let's just do this yep he looks like a shrimp right now like the shrimp villagers that you see in the villages and you're just gonna want to select all the Set the whole model, let's just even make it a, into a folder. And you're going to want to descale it simply like that. So I'm just going to press T. 
and descale. I'm gonna put 10 here. Okay, still small. Okay, this. Okay, seems to be getting a bit there, but not necessarily. Let's make it even smaller and smaller. Not bigger, but smaller. Okay, let's see about this. He is almost around there, but not necessarily. Um, let's see. Probably, yeah, usually people would do that. I'm like, the size of the chair, they're usually bigger than chairs. Unless the chair is like the Game of Thrones chair. That thing's huge. Okay, now let's just see what happens if you make him sit down. It's quite looks quite comfortable. Yeah. And um So you get the idea, just keep on seeing if just, just to make just make it descale to this to a, a quite accurate size that like you know like Example like here if you want the character to be like the size of the chair then um, like an actual like you make the thing it's kinda of hard to explain. You understand it's not like it's any rocket science. Well this train looks like a rocket. But anyways that's about it. As you can see it's a really simple process and just just got a bit slow here in this tutorial but Probably you would have still catched what I did and um, that's about it. Thank you for watching and now I'm just going to do some on-screen screenshots of what it will look like and I will see you in the next video and I'll see you later.